<laughs> Good? Okay, guys. Yeah. Should we do this? Yes. Okay. Actually, we're going to I'm short. I'm shy. I'm a mature woman. And if I didn't acknowledge that truth of who I am, then I can't even try to share the truth of who you are. You can't live in the shadow. You can't live in the shadows. Being a woman photographer is critical in doing this work for Ripple because we're dealing with women's issues. I see how amazing these women are and how they will protect their children with their very life. And yet they don't control their own lives. It's been proven by every bit of research that if you help women get resources in their hands, they will use the majority of those resources for the health of their children and their families. How do you help prosperity? How do you bring the world forward? You put the resources in the hands of women. It's still a struggle for families to send their girls to school. The girls are needed to carry the water, to take care of younger siblings. They want them as backs, not as brains. Fathers don't want the daughters to go because they become challenging. They become independent. And mothers don't want them to go because they lose a set of hands and a back who will share her burden. Just because they live in a village doesn't mean they don't have dreams. At one point, the girls said, you know what? We want to be lawyers and doctors and teachers and businesswomen. What the school is trying to do is change this culture to say, actually, your girl is more valuable as a wage earner and as a professional. One of the practices at the school is to give each child, for every day that they're in attendance, 10 rupees put into their own account. And at the end of their school time, that money goes to the family. And I think that's really one of the ways they've convinced the parents to let go of their girls and let them come to school. They introduced us to a family, single mom, and four little girls. About seven years ago, mother was married to a man who owned a sweet shop. He was basically a drunk. He drank up the profits of the shop, and he beat his wife, and he beat his kids. One day, the husband started to beat her. It was expected. You are allowed to beat your wife. He beat her unconscious, and finally the neighbors intervened and took her to the hospital. So when Ramadevi got well, she went back to her 
parents. It would have been very common for them to send her back to that abusive situation, but they didn't. They now live with her parents, and the girls are in school, and they're doing beautifully, and they really understand every day they go to school that that's a gift. People that survive off of garbage are everywhere in the world. I've seen it in the Philippines, throughout Africa. In this case, we were in India, just outside of Delhi. The professional pickers go through 20% of the tons and tons of garbage that's generated by people who live in Delhi every day. That is their prosperity. We met a little girl. She had a best friend. They were clearly, um, I don't know, had one of those crushes on each other. But more importantly, I think they were each other's protection. They work on the pile, as they call it. The great landfill garbage pile. They do it to survive, pure and simple. People are killed on the pile all the time. For kids, it's particularly dangerous. If your head is down and you're picking through the garbage and the bulldozer is coming your way, you're lost. It's filthy, it's full of smells of death and decay. These kids who are still developing are breathing this garbage and noxious chemical-laden fumes. Chintan is an organization that focuses on garbage pickers. They've actually helped them create an identity. They've given them purpose. They've helped them become a community. But also created projects that help these kids get out of the landfill. By getting the kids off the pile into school, that's a gift of health, it's a gift for the economy, it's a gift for the mental stability of the child and of the family. As journalists, we look for the problem. And I think the difference with the ripple effect work is that we're inherently looking for people who have found solutions, or who believe they have found solutions to these very entrenched uh, societal problems. Well, if they see the success combined with the problem, then it's educational, then it's informative. And then they see that, oh my God, you can move this issue forward. Let's use powerful visual imagery and storytelling to actually move people to action. You can't do that if you don't have a collaborator on the other side of the camera. You have to be led by the lives that you're witnessing. Mary embodied the spirit of this organization. This lady's house was basically dissolving every time it rained. There were big gaping holes in the walls. She didn't have enough strength to even get up and prepare her own food. She had malaria and HIV. She was in a very desperate position.
Mary would get on her knees and say a prayer with this woman and then wash her body. It was just the most elegant and selfless act. Yeah, she was amazing. What we saw was a person who seemed to be fully formed in her faith. There was not a word of proselytizing. She was the embodiment of what we are all taught to do, which is to rescue the person by the side of the road. Every faith has that message, but she lived it. I live for every Mary that I meet. I just can't get enough. Most of us will never achieve that state of grace. I keep thinking that if I just see one more, Meet one more. Study one more woman like that. That maybe I'll find the clue. To get up every day faced with the challenge of survival, and go out and give of yourself to the survival of others. That is something that most of us will never achieve. I've met so many of those people though, and they're everywhere. And we can all live up to that standard. We have to never give up, never give up, never give up. The better we know ourselves, and the more elegant and sophisticated and knowledgeable we are with our storytelling, I think we can illuminate these tough issues and encourage others to dive in. Just really get off your tail and do something.